מוסב יוסוף הוא פלסטיני בן 32, הוא כנראה הסוכן הטוב ביותר שהיה לשב"כ בעשור האחרון. הוא הצליח להודיע לשירות הביטחון הכללי על שורה של פיגועי תופת, מנה התנגשות בשמעון פרס, התנגשות ברב עובדיה יוסף, הכיר כמעט כל התארגנות שטח, עודכן על כל מסלול של מחבל מתאבד. הוא היה החלום של רכזי השטח של השב"כ, משום שהיה לו את מקור המידע הטוב ביותר. אבא שלו. אבא שלו הוא מנהיג חמאס בגדה שחסן יוסוף. מוסא בגד בו, שיתף פעולה עם ישראל, ואחר כך נמלט מהשטחים והתנצר. הפרשה נחשפה לראשונה בעיתון הארץ, אמש שוחחנו עם מוסאב לארצות הברית. Good evening, מסעוב יוסף. Good evening. Your father, שיק חסן יוסף, just discovered last week that his son was a double agent. Did he try to contact you in any way? Did he, did he comment on this in any way? Unfortunately, we are not in touch now, but uh, if he's listening to this uh, interview, I tell him that uh, I love him and I know that this is very difficult for him. And today he's paying uh, the highest uh, price, more than me, more than anyone else, his reputation, his efforts, and many things. And I'm telling him, yes, you're paying the price, but this is good for peace. Your, your father is the, the leader of Hamas in the West Bank. Didn't you feel that you are betraying, betraying your family, betraying his confidence, betraying the idea he dedicated his life to? How, do I, uh, how did I betray him? Uh, by uh, saving his life, for example, I'm not doing him a favor. This is my dad. I know I, I rather to die and he doesn't uh, get uh, hurt. I look like a traitor because I am doing what my people need, not what my people want. How, how were you drafted to the Shabak? I, I am not uh, sure about uh, drafted, uh, this uh, vocabulary. Okay. What I can say, uh, I, had, I, had, I had a dream uh, to become a hero one day, you know, to uh, uh, infiltrate uh, the Shembet, uh, get information from inside, and uh, even uh, kill them from inside. And uh, when I went uh, to uh, uh, Israeli prison um, in Megiddo, I talk uh, to the Hamas security wing, I told them, guys, I give uh, my word uh, to the Shem Bet, what do you think? I need your help, I need your logistic support, I need to do something good for my people, I want to take revenge from Shem Bet for arresting me, arresting my father, torturing me in prison, this is my golden opportunity. Simply, they were uh, cowards, they didn't want to uh, take a part of this uh, plan. When I uh, was released, I decided uh, to uh, uh, meet uh, one last time with the Shembet and tell them I am sorry, I don't want uh, to do this. And I was surprised uh, with how the first meeting went and I was curious to learn more. We reached the core of Hamas and I tell you that I know about Hamas more than Hamas members and Hamas leaders know about Hamas. And I tell you more than that, the Shembet knows about Hamas more than its own leaders. You know, interestingly enough, I've noticed the fact that you're using the word we when we, you talk about the uh, Shabak. When I say we, because this is not a uh, one person uh, effort. Mm -hmm. uh, many soldiers in the field uh, uh, and the human resources, technology resources, uh, and also Hamas donated uh, lots of uh, information uh, uh, because uh, they have their own spies, uh, they have their own cell phones, they have uh, their own mistakes that they don donated uh, to the Shem Bet uh, information most of the time. What, what would you consider your most successful operation? The most uh, successful uh, operation was uh, discovering the core group of, uh, of uh, Hamas in the West Bank. It was uh, mid-30s, uh, uh, five people uh, studying, having master degrees in uh, management uh, and uh, uh, using some uh, uh, research institutions as a cover. And they didn't uh, have beards, they didn't have, uh, they didn't include with uh, movement activities uh, at all, but they were working uh, way below the ra radar. They didn't know about me, I didn't know about them, but I was uh, closer more than they thought. Even uh, most Hamas political leaders uh, didn't know about them, including my father. Uh, we got those uh, guys, uh, they were extremely dangerous, they were uh, responsible for funding, they were responsible uh, for... Uh, uh, funding the military wing and hiding Ibrahim Hamid. And that was the most uh, important uh, operation, and I'm very happy that we could uh, put uh, uh, that uh, person in prison, and I hope that he stays there behind bars uh, uh, for the rest of his life. One of the new revelations is that the fact that you have prevented the assassination or the, the attempt to assassinate Shimon Peres. 
Look, to me, as a Christian uh, person who loves everybody, I want to tell you something. I'm not trying to be a hero here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't uh, uh, a big, uh, a big of a deal uh, for me. Mm -hmm. Shimon Peres and uh, a Palestinian uh, child in Gaza Strip, in my eyes, are the same. I want to try and understand the way you were operating as much as it's possible to, to tell. Uh, for example, one day somebody calls you and tells you, there's an assassin who's going to kill Rabbi Ovadia Yosef in his home, or near his home. So what do you do next? To be honest with you, the Ovadia Yosef uh, operation, I didn't know uh, uh, their targets. Uh, I knew about the side bombers and uh, we arrested them. Uh, later on, um, uh, under the investigation, uh, I was informed that they were targeting Ovadia Yosef. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this uh, before. And uh, there was no time in a war zone uh, to uh, know all uh, type of information. Uh, I did what was uh, right, and I'm telling you, if it was uh, Ovedia Youssef or if it was uh, anybody who uh, uh, could uh, get uh, hurt, I would uh, stop it, and I don't regret that. You decided at some point to leave Islam altogether, and you converted to Christianity, right? Yes, I converted to Christianity. I am a Jesus Christ follower, and uh, let me tell you something. I am not a pro-Israeli. And I'm not very fascinated by uh, the work of the Israeli government of killing uh, Gaza children or assassinating uh, leaders and uh, 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 even terrorist leaders. It's very obvious that they're going to try and kill you t till the rest of your days. And still, here you are in Israeli television without disguise, without fear. And I ask myself whether this is courage or total l uh, uh, craziness. Look, uh, you are afraid when you do something wrong. When you don't do something wrong, when you believe in what you're doing, you're not afraid. Masoub Yusuf, uh, in behalf of myself and many, many Israelis, thank you very much and thank you for this interview. Thank you. אבי יששכרוב כתב הארץ שאתה חשפת את הפרשה הזאת ועשית את הרעיון הראשון איתו. עד כמה הוא אמין, עד כמה הסיפור הזה נבדק? תראה, אני מודה, יאיר, כששמעתי על זה בפעם הראשונה, כששמעתי את הסיפור ממנו, קצת התייחסתי לזה בזהירות מסוינת, מאחר שנשמע לי היה לפחות שהסיפור קצת נופח. אבל אז הגעתי בדרך לא דרך למפעילים שלו, לשעבר כמובן, והם הכניסו לי את הדברים לפרופורציה והבהירו לי שאפילו הוא קצת הוריד במה שהוא עשה mm -hmm. למען מדינת ישראל. זאת אומרת, אם אחד המפעילים שלו לפחות, אותו איש שמכונה בספר הזה קפטן לואי, mm -hmm. אומר שהאיש הזה, או שאנשים אחרים קיפלו פרס ביטחון ישראל על הרבה פחות ממה שהוא עשה, אז צריך mm -hmm. לתת לו איזשהו פרס. צריך להכיר תודה על מה שהוא עשה לעם ישראל. אבי שכר, תודה רבה לך. תודה.